People around the world have been hearing about what's been happening in Romania these days. Also here in the country, many people are wanting to have more information to know what's really going on. A few days ago, the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Romania passed an act which effectively would have decriminalized corruption. The act essentially said that as long as a member of government, parliament, the state, steals less than $47,000, it's no longer punishable by the same degree as it had been previously. This made the country erupt. Over the last days, we've been seeing demonstrations of 30, 35, 40,000 people here in Cluj-Napoca, and in the capital, as many as 150,000 and more. Some of the scenes which you're seeing around the world have been pictures of people gathering in beautiful demonstrations, but sometimes the media has also chosen to focus on images of violence between demonstrators and gendarmerie. The reality is that while sometimes 15, 20 or 30 individuals have engaged in rare instances of violence with gendarmerie in the capital, at the same time you've seen 150,000 people, people of every generation and background, parents with children, grandparents, professionals, artists, students coming out and demonstrating peacefully. This is an extraordinary moment in the country's history. These are the largest demonstrations which have ever taken place in Romania, but they're not the first. Just several years ago, the country also erupted in demonstration when Prime Minister at the time tried to pass a law which would have made it possible for a foreign company to carry out cyanide mining in the mountains in Romania. The people rose up and stopped that project. A few years later, the same individual tried to steal the the presidential elections by denying the opportunity to vote to many tens of thousands of Romanians abroad by cutting short the hours for the polling stations. Again, this caused citizens in Romania to erupt. Some people in Romania over the last few days have felt depressed, even angered, when they see their government trying to pass a law to decriminalize corruption when that's one of the greatest challenges that the country has been facing in recent years. At the same time, far more becoming inspired not by the act of a few in parliament, but by the act of hundreds of thousands across the country. We've seen members of parliament resign from the party, we've seen a minister resign, deputy ministers resign, all saying that they cannot be part of an act which they know goes against the interests and the needs of the country. We're seeing students discussing this in school, professors in Bucharest, Cluj and across the country signing petitions calling for the Romanian government to respect the rule of law. Just here the other night in Cluj, the theatre performers after performing held up a sign that said we are now expected in the streets and went out to join the demonstrators. This is part of the change that is taking place in Romania. Whereas some years ago, many people felt disempowered and felt that they couldn't do things to change what was happening in their country. What we've seen in recent years is a rising dignity, a rising sense of solidarity, and a rising willingness of people of all backgrounds, from children to pensioners, to come out when they feel the need to say, this is what we want for our community, our country, and our future. Today, Romania has gained center stage of the world's attention. It is demonstrating not only for the rights of citizens in this country, but for the rights of people all over the world when faced with corruption, incompetence, and neglecting the needs of the population by those in power. Today, Romania, less than three decades after its first revolution, is rising again for good governance, for transparency, and for a better future for all the people of Romania.